what input did your subcommittee have on any of what's going on right now well, negotiations? Bonnie, we're getting briefed uh, with all the meetings. We're in the fourth round, which is going to end today. Uh, the fifth round will be in Mexico. Uh, the fourth round was in Virginia. And negotiations are moving very quickly. Uh, if you look at the schedule, uh, our trade rep wants to get done by the end of December. Uh, there'll be a 90 day period and then we'll, we'll vote sometime probably in April or May if the negotiations continue to go as they're going. Well, so you give me a timeline, but we're really talking about the substantive, you know, trade agreements here and the idea that the U.S. is really putting the hammer on Mexico and Canada. We are. And there may be no, uh, no agreement on that. Well, we want to have a renegotiation. There's no two ways about that. We don't want to blow up uh, the plan as was recommended not too long ago by the President of the United States, no less. Uh, we want this negotiation to work. In order for it to work, Mexico is going to have to take a look at what its labor practices are, uh, the minimum wage in Mexico. Our, our workers can't compete with that. That minimum wage hasn't gone up since the beginning of NAFTA. So they're going to have to make some very deep considerations. Uh, every union, just about every union in Mexico is controlled by the federal government. Canada, on the other hand, uh, we just met with Prime Minister Trudeau last week. He has a very excellent proposal in terms of labor negotiations. It would help the workers of all countries, all three countries that are involved in these negotiations. I have faith that we can move in that direction. Whether Mexico will go, I don't know. It sounds like you have complete faith in the process and in the president and the administration to carry out these negotiations and, and help them along to a, a good end. But remember, end. Article 1, Section 8 is very clear. The Congress is the commerce-driven force here. And if the, if the, if the president uh, ignores the Congress and only brings us in at the end, even though we're being briefed, then that's not going to work. Those days are over.